Kapu National Park is one of Zambia's main national parks, but it's one of the lesser known national parks and it, it doesn't really get the attention it deserves. To understand it, you need to get under the skin of it. And when you relax and explore and spend time here, it shows itself. That's the magic of this place. Well, I hope you enjoyed those few words from Phil and Tyrone at the beginning of this safari. I think it uh, sums up the nature of the uh, the Kafui. You know, it's it's its uniqueness, its vastness. It's a, it's a, an incredible national park. You know, I mean, it's the size of people always make analogies, don't they? But it's the size of Belgium, and yet it only has a handful of small safari camps. And so, in addition to the incredible wildlife you can pretty much be assured of seeing almost no other people. And that is a, that's a bonus, I think, anyway. You've got the bush to yourself. How special is that? You can see the website. I'd encourage you to look especially at the video on the Musakesi page, which gives a, a really good overview of what you can expect from the wildlife and the, and the diversity in the National Park. There's plenty of pictures and they'll give you a taste uh, of what to expect. But I can tell you when you get there, it's, it's, it exceeds uh, everybody's expectations every time. The safari itself is described as an adventure safari, but think soft adventure. There's nothing really dangerous or <laughs> to, to worry about. We start on the Busanga Plains. We fly out there in a light aircraft we spend a few days exploring the vast open grasslands of the Busanga, which at the time of year we're visiting are a, 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 an open dry savanna grassland dotted with these ancient termite mounds, each of them topped with a, a thorn tree or a fig or a palm, and each one also uh, potentially providing shade or shelter for the predators as they scan the, uh, scan the plains looking for un, unwary antelope of which there are thousands. There's always water on the Busanga and so in the wet areas particularly we'll see gatherings of hundreds if not thousands of lechwe antelope and puku and the wildebeest will be giving birth and there's the roan antelope will be there. It's spectacular. From Busanga we go to Musakesi. Musakesi has developed a reputation through the safari world for its beauty, its outstanding beauty. Right in front of camp is a, a dambo, which is a uh, an old river course, it holds water during the year that attracts hundreds of antelope and the bird life is so prolific. And again, um, predators, predators in the area of Musakesi. There are a lot of leopards and lions to be found. Elephants come here as well, and that's special. Breeding herds with babies. From Musakesa, we go to Kengu. Kengu is a river lodge on a part of the Kafui where it breaks into a thousand little channels. It's full of giant old granite boulders, and as we spend our days there, we'll be going out in, in safari boats, in uh, aluminium hull safari boats just exploring each of these channels and looking at the birds and the hippos popping up and anything else. One of the nights we'll spend there, we'll, uh, we'll actually kayak gently down the river from maybe we'll spend four or five hours on the river and then we'll end up at a uh, fly camp which will be waiting for us and we'll spend the night with a eating dinner on a little sandy bank right next to the river next morning We'll just journey back into camp to enjoy our last full day in the bush. This is a special safari. Uh, it's one we really enjoy bringing our guests on, but we also enjoy for ourselves. I'm going to be leading this safari. There's going to be just a maximum of five guests. And Tyrone, my son, will be joining us during the uh, Busanga Plains and our stay at Musakesi, which is his home in the bush really hope you can make it it's a special safari if you want to contact me to ask any questions about any aspect of the trip at all don't hesitate you you find all my details on the website uh, 
and um, yeah, you know, we're always here and always happy to hear from you. If you've got the slightest interest in wildlife, wilderness, and just being away from civilization, then, then you'd love it.